Hey, FBC Allen family, Jimmy here. Looking forward to seeing you this weekend at worship. I hope you can be with us in person. If you can't, you know we always have the online option. This Sunday, we're continuing in our series in Ecclesiastes, right? It's called The Good Life. And this Sunday, we're looking at this idea of information overload. If you've got a phone, you've got a computer, you've got a TV, you know that you are in under a barrage of constant content 24-7. And you know what? We weren't equipped to, to take all that in because what that does, it causes stress, it causes worry, it causes anxiety, it can make us angry, all this kind of stuff. And none of that helps us to focus on God. So we're going to be talking about what do you do with all this information and how do you keep it in perspective. So we want you to be with us. Now, a couple of things I want to tell you about. First, this weekend we're having a newcomer's class, newcomer's lunch, actually. And it's for people who are new to our church, who maybe don't know a lot about us, but want to learn more. This is going to be a great time to be with our pastor. You can come and ask questions, get to know his heart, get to know the heart of who we are as a church. If you want to be a part of that, do us a favor. Go to the link on the screen, sign up, and we'd love for you to join us. Maybe you've been here for a long time, but you have questions and you want to know some stuff. Come to that lunch and get to know FBC Allen, get to know our church and some of our staff. Uh, other thing I want to remind you of, just like you see all these kids behind me here at the playground, uh, we have something for everyone here at our church, from our preschools to our children, student ministry, adults, lots of activities going on, Marriage Monthly, we've got Grief Share kicking off, we've got a chili cook-off for our next ministry, lots of things. Don't miss any of it. Go to our website right now and click on our events page and you can find out everything that's happening here for you and for your family. And one last thing, don't forget, engage in God's Word. It is so important. One thing that will make a difference in your life is to read God's Word and apply God's Word to your life. If you don't know where to go, where to start, we've got reading plans available to you. Just go to the link on our website there and we can show you where to get started. Again, I hope you have a great weekend and I hope you'll make time to come and be a part of worship and invite someone to come with you. Love you guys. See you this weekend.